Well, it's my first time in Bali and I feel that the weather is quite humid and hot. Far more hotter than most Asian countries I've been to before um, compared to Hong Kong or Bangkok or anywhere else. So, yeah, if you're the kind of person who struggles with hot weather, then you might have to rethink your strategy of how you're going to navigate through Bali. But otherwise, perfect. Everything is absolutely amazing. The food, the people, the scenery, the natural beauty, the temples. You get a true cultural experience while you're here. So here I am relaxing and working on my morning projects on my laptop at the Umma Dawa Resort in Ubud, Bali. And the pool area is just so relaxing. After finishing some work, I just walked around the resort and explored the ambiance, the sights and the sounds. And honestly, it's just so relaxing, so soothing and tranquil. It feels like an oasis, typical Balinese culture mixed in with rustic traditional elements. The property is really well maintained. At every turn, every nook and cranny, you'll see something unique that represents Balinese culture, such as these statues in the hallways and the walkways. And you'll feel that rustic, typical Balinese feel with the fountains and the flowers and the big palm trees. Bali has one of the most rich cultures on earth, and I was so fortunate to stay at this resort. It just felt like paradise on earth. The pool area was completely empty because it was a Sunday morning and I assumed the guests were just hungover and tired after a night of partying out. Which was the perfect opportunity for me to just walk around and explore. The property has several different kinds of accommodations. You can get high-end villas, you can get small flats, you can get little, you know, guest houses, you can get Balinese style quarters, everything depending on your budget. And the way they've designed the resort is you feel like you're an actual part of a Balinese village. I'm a big fan of trees and flowers and tropics, so just walking around and exploring all different varieties of habitat and flowers, the flora, the fauna, was honestly such a big treat. In general, the resort felt a bit under-occupied. I'm not sure why. I don't know if November is high season or low season in Bali, but this was filmed in November. And now the best part, the floating breakfast. The resort was really kind enough to offer me a floating breakfast on my first day. It was not charged at all, it was complimentary. I'm so grateful I had the chance to enjoy it. And they included two breakfasts for me, even though I was there alone, but two is better than one, right? So I ate like a king. I mean, who wouldn't want to have breakfast here? Anyway, after a while, I realized my breakfast floated too far, so I had to get it back. Finally, it came near and I was ready to dig in like a hungry champ. <laughs> 